Under the Biden-Harris administration, we're seeing crises, manufactured crises. Let's just look at a few in turn. We have a manufactured economic crisis. The inflation rate has increased by 550% since January of 2021. Total government spending during that time has increased over $9 trillion. This is out of control spending that's leading to this inflation. It's costing the average American family $6,000 a year. Let me just put that in perspective. That would be like going up to a family and saying, can you give me one month's paycheck most cannot do that, but the inflation has deprived the average American family of one month's pay. And this CR does absolutely nothing to address inflation. It does nothing to bring the economic crisis to an end. But it just doesn't stop there. Let's talk about the manufactured energy crisis. The day, literally day one, that Biden took office, he declared war on American energy. He shut down the Keystone pipeline. And as a result, American families are paying higher and higher prices at the pump. We're going to fa face record level energy costs going into this winter. And yet this CR does absolutely nothing to address the energy crisis. Let's talk about crime. There's a crime wave going on all over the country. Cities across the nation are witnessing the results of the defund the police movement. Homicide rates across this country have increased roughly 50% compared to this time in 2019. In my home state of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia has, rec has recorded over 400 murders so far this year. Philadelphia is on track to see the highest homicide rate in recorded history. And it's because of the defund the police movement. It's because of the Democrat rule. It's not just Philly, Los Angeles. In 2021, LA defunded the police by $150 million. What did they get? Homicide rates went up 23%. Yet this CR does nothing to combat the crime wave that we're seeing. It does nothing to refund the police. It, let's talk about fentanyl. In my district and across the country, communities, communities are facing the opioid epidemic. And that's a direct result of fentanyl flooding across our poorest southern border. The devastation is because of Biden's failed policies, the open border policies that he's instituted. And just don't take my word for it. The DEA commissioner said that the open border policies are killing Americans, and I quote, at rates never seen before, end quote. Yet this CR does nothing to address the fentanyl issue. It does nothing. It's because the base of the Democratic Party, the woke yuppies who stay at home and are on Zoom classes all day, view this issue as a cracker barrel problem, something that will never affect them because they don't shop at Walmart. They drive a hybrid, not a Chevy Silverado. So that's why we're not seeing urgency on the fentanyl crisis. And let me just put it in perspective. Fentanyl death leads to about 300 deaths every single day in this country. That is the equivalent of a airliner going down every single day. If an airliner went down just once a week in this country, it would, be an it would be declared an emergency within two to three weeks. Yet we're seeing the same death every single day. And because it's viewed as a flyover problem, an issue that's facing people that don't live on the coast, no one cares about it. And this CR does nothing to address it. And it's just not fentanyl. Let's talk about the crisis of immigration. Since Biden took office, over 3.5 million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the southern border. This CR does nothing to add additional border security, nothing for additional infrastructure, nothing for advanced technology. So for those reasons, I urge my colleagues to vote no on the rule and no on the continuing resolution. Thank you, and I yield back my time.